Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will see how to create a contact form for your WordPress website. So let's get started. Contact form is one of the most important pages in your website because it gives an easy way for the visitors to contact you. With the contact form, you can uh, get specific information from the user and uh, the entries that you get will be organized. So let's go ahead and create a contact form. So this is my test website over here and we'll be using a plugin called WP Forms to create this contact form. So let's go to plugins and click on add new and here we will type WP Forms and here we have the plugin with more than 2 million active installations and it also has a high rating so let's go ahead and install this. Now let's go ahead and activate it. So here we can see the welcome screen of WP Forms. You can go ahead and start creating your form right here. When you install WP Forms, you have this new option over here called WP Forms. And just go over here and click on Add New. And here we will give a name for our form. We'll name it Contact form and you can select from a template over here so we'll just select this simple contact form so here we have the template for our simple contact form if you go to the left side over here we can add some uh, standard fields so if you just click on uh, numbers over here we can see we get this new field over here so let's just delete that now we'll make some changes over here. We'll just have one field for the full name. So we'll just click on this name field over here and then we'll go to the format and uh, here we will select simple and uh, here we can see the simple field and we have different options over here. If you want we can change this label over here and what we'll do is we'll just remove this label from here and uh, we will add a placeholder text. So let's go down and uh, go to the advanced options. And here we can see we have different advanced options. We'll go to field size and we'll set it to large. And for the placeholder, we will type full name. And we'll just click on hide label. And we also have this option of uh, CSS classes over here. For example, if you type my input, then what are styles you have written for this my input in your CSS? Will be applied over here so in this way you can make this input field look just like you want it to look now let's go to the email and uh, we will make some changes over here so first of all we'll remove the label from here and uh, we also have this option of description so if you type something like please enter your email we can see the description is displayed right here so I'll just remove that and we also have this option of required so if you check this, then this field will be required. And then we also have this option of enable email confirmation. So if you click on this, we can see we have one more field over here for confirming the email address. Now we don't want this field for our contact form. So let's uncheck this. Now we'll go to the advanced options and uh, here we will select large. And for the placeholder text, we'll type email and we'll hide the label. And here also we have the option of CSS classes. Now let's go to this uh, comment or message field and we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just remove the label and we will leave it as required. And for the advanced options, we will select large and uh, here we will type your message and we'll hide the label. All right, that's it with our input fields. Now, if you go to this button, we have different options over here. We have the form name, which is uh, contact form. And um, we can also give a CSS class to the form. And uh, we can change the text that appears on the button. So we'll just type send. And then here we can set the text that should be displayed when uh, the button is processing. And we also have an option of setting a CSS class for the button. And then we have different options over here. We'll just enable anti-spam and uh, we'll also enable ajax form submission 
and if you want to learn about this you can go to this link over here and uh, you can read about that all right now let's go to the next option that is uh, notification here we have the different options for sending uh, the email so here we can type the email address to receive the email and here is the email subject and the form name and uh, then here we have the from email and we also have this message over here and it says all fields so we'll get the data from all the fields on our contact form all right so we'll make some changes over here for the send to email just type the email id that you want the message to be sent to so i'll just add my email id over here and uh, we'll leave the subject as it is and uh, for the from email we will just add another email we will leave the other fields as it is now if you want to add multiple email addresses to the send to email address you can just add a comma over here and uh, type the second email address over here now let's go to confirmation so here we have different options for what should happen when uh, we send the email so the first option is this message right here you can uh, make changes to this and uh, then we have different options like uh, if you go to show pages you can select a page from your website and uh, it will be displayed when the email gets sent then we also have this option of uh, go to URL we'll just set it to message and uh, we'll keep this message as it is alright so now just click on save and we'll just click on close now let's create a page to add our contact form so let's click on add new so here we'll type contact and if you're using this Gutenberg editor in WordPress all you have to do is click on add block and just search for WP forms and just click on that and here you can select a form so our form is called contact form so here we have our contact form now if you're using the classic editor in WordPress then you have to go to all forms in WP forms and click on the form and then you have to click on embed and copy this line of code from here and then paste it in your editor right here so this is how you have to do in a classic editor so now let's click on publish our page has been published so let's click on view page and here is our contact form now this contact form may not work right away you may have to install one more plugin in your website so let's go to plugins and click on add new and we will add a plugin called WP mail SMTP so here's the plugin so just click on install now and then click on activate now just go to WP mail SMTP and just go over here and uh, fill in these details type your from email address over here and then for the mailer you can select these different options so if you have a gmail you can select this and uh, then uh, fill in these details you can also select mailgun and uh, send grid and if you have any other SMTP like if you have an email from your hosting provider then you can select this option called other SMTP and you will get these details from the hosting provider the SMTP host and select the SSL encryption and then down here you have to add the SMTP username and the password now once you have filled all these details just click on save settings and then you can go to email test and enter your email ID over here and click on send email and you can test whether the email is being sent or not and if the email is being sent successfully then the WP forms will also work alright now this may not work with the local installations of WordPress so I have this live website open over here so let's just test this out so for the full name we will just type mark Z and for the email ID we will just type mark at gmail.com and uh, here we will type this is a test message one two three all right now let's click on send and here we can see the confirmation message so let's go to our email and uh, let's refresh our page so here is our message we have the name we have the email ID and we have the message right here 
All right, so this is basically how you create a contact form in your WordPress website. Now, there are many other plugins that you can use to create contact forms, like Contact Form 7 is a popular one. You can just go ahead and install that and try it out as well. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.